Today on our horse trailer, we're going to be installing the Dexter Trailer Hub Assembly for 3,500 pound axles with a 6 on 5.5 bolt pattern, part number 84655UC1. We'll first begin by removing the wheel from the old hub. Next we'll need to remove the old hub. To do this, we'll first remove the dust cap. We'll then need to remove the cotter pin as well as the castle nut. Then go ahead and slide the hub outward, pulling the flat washer and the outer bearing off. And then we can go ahead and pull the rest of the hub assembly off. Your flat washer, as well as the castle nut, will need to be reused from the old hub assembly. I like to put a new cotter pin on, but you could reuse this one. And we'll go ahead and take a couple paper towels and clean off all the old grease from the spindle. Now before we can assemble our new hubs, we're gonna need to pack the bearings with grease. Put some grease in the palm of our hand, and then we'll work the grease into the bearing so that it comes out the top side here. Go ahead and continue working all the way around. We'll go ahead and pack the outer bearing using the same process. Now we'll go ahead and add a little bit of fresh grease here to our spindle. We'll then go ahead and put some grease here on the inner bearing race. We'll then take the larger bearing, which is the inner bearing, Set it down into the hub. We'll then take our seal here, and our seal will go in the back side of the hub. We'll then go ahead and take a small block of wood. We'll need to drive the seal flush with the back side of the hub. Now we're ready to slide our hub into position on our spindle. Then go ahead and take some more grease and put it into the hub. We'll then take our outer bearing, which is the smaller bearing, slide it over the spindle and into the front part of the hub. We'll then go ahead and take our flat washer, slide it into place, followed by the castle nut. Now you'll want to tighten down the castle nut so that the hub still spins freely, but that you don't have any movement in or out or side to side on the hub on the spindle. As you can see here, we're pretty good. And we're gonna go ahead and insert our new cotter pin. Our cotter pin in place, we'll go ahead and bend it up so that it can't come back out. Next, we'll go ahead and put our dust cap in place. Now with our dust cover back in place, we can go ahead and reinstall the wheel and put the new lug nuts on that come with the hub assembly. And that'll do it for our installation of the Dexter Trailer Hub Assembly, part number 84655UC1.